Hey, Pac, I hope everyone is doing well. There's, you guys are staying healthy, staying active, um, and, I, and I hope everyone's family is doing well as well as, as staying healthy and, and being well, um, staying safe. Um, but yeah, so today's video, I wanted to kind of talk at what a lot of you guys are um, texting or calling me about, which is Bianca, I am discouraged. I feel like I'm going to lose my strength. Um, and I feel like I'm going to lose muscle mass, right? That is that is completely normal. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you that you are not the only one thinking this. Okay? I'm I'm actually there with you guys. Every, every now and again, I have to catch myself. Um in those moments where I feel discouraged, where I feel like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I'll be able to do a muscle up, I don't know if I'll be able to do a pull up, all this stuff, right? That's definitely all mental, and all on your psyche. What's going to happen, and what you guys did, so the gains that you, um, that you experienced before this whole COVID-19, was not just a muscular gain where you're building muscle mass or you're building strength, but the one thing that a lot of people tend to ignore is the neuromuscular type of education, right? So you built muscle memory, okay? Muscle memory is a very, very powerful tool. Reason being is when you first started CrossFit, okay, it was hard to do a snatch. It was hard to do a clean. It was hard to do a pull up. It was hard to do a kip, right? And you got better throughout. Some of the issue wasn't even, wasn't even like a strength deal. It was just a neuromuscular education aspect of gaining that type of strength or gaining that type of motor control or muscle control, right? I wanna be the first to tell you guys that Every one of you guys developed a strong muscle memory, okay? All of the pain, all of the suffering, all of the hours that you put in the gym, you guys will reap the benefits, okay? You guys have reaped the benefits. Not only were you able to gain muscle mass, but you gained something that's very powerful that a lot of people don't talk about is muscle memory. Okay, I know a lot of you guys have heard me talk about it here and there briefly, but I promise you, when you first started out CrossFit, it took you about a month or two, at least minimum, to start getting a hang of the movement and then to start uh, PRing and lifts and stuff. When we get back to the gym, give it weeks, right? Um, at least two weeks before you start actually being like, oh, there that is, there this is, here's that lift, this is how it feels, and, and you're back in it. And it's all due to muscle memory, okay? Don't be discouraged, don't panic, don't stress, don't get emotional about it. Everything is going to be all right, okay? We're all making lemonade out of the lemons that we're given, right so this we should all view this time as an opportunity right so for me i know that i'm not really good at some endurance stuff right but that's all i've been doing just endurance work endurance endurance right running with or without a, a, a weight vest doing hill sprints all that fun stuff right so getting my engine up because that's just going to help me be better in the gym once the gym reopens Right, so use this opportunity to find, to figure out what your weaknesses are and how to make them your strengths, okay? Don't worry about, oh, I'm not, I'm, you know, my one rep max and my back squat's gonna go down. My one rep max on my front squat's gonna go down. Yeah, it's going to go down, it is, but it's going to come back faster, okay? I have plenty of, of ideas and the programming when, when we reopen the gym, everything is going to be geared to getting back to where we left off, okay? So don't worry about that. I'm on it. I already have plans for that. You guys are all gonna be fine, 
okay? I want you guys to know that you're not alone in this, okay? There are people around the world, okay, that are feeling the exact same way, okay? And we all need to be reminded, including me. I mean, I, this is, this is what my degree is in, um, and I have to take a minute, take a step back and really think about it. Um, but, you know, we're all in this together, and at the end of the day, we have to make um, lemonade out of lemons. So make the sweetest lemonade there is, right? And kind of just turn those weaknesses into your strengths. So running, hill sprints, uh, sprint intervals, burpees, you know, whatever um, your weaknesses are, that's something that we can get better at, okay? So... I hope this video helps. I know I was kind of all over the place um, with my words, but I wanted to be as real um, and as informative as possible for you guys because yes, everyone's experiencing it. Yes, everyone's getting emotional about it. Um, and, and it's really easy to fall into that negative space. But I'm here to tell you that we all need to see this as an opportunity to improve our weaknesses. All right and and find room for improvement okay so i just wanted to share that and if you guys have any questions or or concerns please reach out to me okay text me like if you are feeling discouraged about any of this text me email me facebook me whatever I, this is literally what I live for. And this is literally what I got my degree in. Okay. So please keep me on my toes. Ask me questions about this stuff and try to stay out of that negative space. All right. Um, but yeah. Okay. I hope everyone's having a great day and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Don't forget, we have game night tomorrow, so everyone should be there. It's going to be fun. Will and Jamie are going to be hosting it with an awesome game. Um, so, yeah. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.